What the hell is going on? I'm gonna Heyman, kick you have ass. to do something that, about this. This isn't over. I'm sick of this lunatic attacking me wherever you I go. You it on yourself, you son of a bitch. Would you both shut up? I'm sick of your childishness, Ambrose. You've had several opportunities at Seth in the past, but that's all I can do for you. If you plan to continue this type of unprofessional behavior backstage, then I'll have no choice but to suspend you. You need to calm down and think about... Get him out of my sight. I don't want to see or hear this man until I tell you otherwise. You made the You're next if you say another word. What's up, YouTube? This is Mathways987, and welcome to episode number 55 of my WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. This is the first edition of Monday Night Raw following the Survivor Series pay-per-view. And we're kicking things off with the intellectual savior of the masses, Damien Sandow. He's going to be in singles action. But of course, since this is the first episode following Survivor Series, if you happen to miss the pay-per-view, be sure to check it out because this video is going to be filled with spoilers galore like that screenshot. Because our main event tonight is featuring the, re the man who returned at Survivor Series to join Team Rollins. The former World Heavyweight Champion Dolph Ziggler is back on Monday Night Raw and he'll be taking on the super athlete Rusev. And of course we're also going to be seeing Sami Zayn go one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam to determine the number one contender for Baron Corbin's United States Championship at the next pay-per-view which is of course Fastlane. So that is going to be our two matchups to take place later on this evening. But we're kicking things off as the Viper, Randy Orton, now self-proclaimed the legend ki or the rookie killer. I've already butchered commentary in this episode. The rookie killer, Randy Orton, making his way down to the ring. And you have to wonder what kind of what kind of mental state is Randy Orton in after Survivor Series? Because as we know. Randy Orton lost his one-on-one -on -one matchup with Samoa Joe at the pay-per-view. And to be quite honest, Randy Orton, he looked like a fool after losing that matchup because, think about it, he was the man who picked the fight with Samoa Joe. He's the one who got in Joe's business, he got in his way, and really he issued the challenge to Joe. So the fact that Randy Orton came in the Survivor Series he really had to perform. He had to get the victory in that matchup because now you think about what kind of a blow is that to his confidence. You go in there, you pick a fight with somebody thinking that you that you are clearly the better man and then you go out and lose. Randy Orton tonight, it's a must-win situation for him. But for Damian Sandow, this is the beginning of a whole new career for him as a single star. The last time we saw Sandow, was on main event when he defeated his former tag team partner, Curtis Axel. And after Sandow got that win, now it could perhaps be the time for Sandow to take the spotlight for the first time in his career. Because here in Universe Mode, Damian Sandow has been neglected, whether it's on SmackDown or on Raw. Damian Sandow just has not been given the opportunity to shine. But now, now that he and Curtis Axel have split ways, their tag team partnership didn't quite work out the way they had hoped. So now Damian Sandow looking to start his singles career here on Raw. And I mean, what a way to do it. Get a victory over Randy Orton? That'd be a hell of a kickstarter to your career. Really build up that momentum for Damian Sandow heading into the future. So this is a, honestly, it's a must-win matchup for both of these two superstars. You could argue that Damian Sandow loss here, you know, as long as he puts up a strong performance, he can bounce back from that. Although for Randy Orton, that's not really the case. As, oh, what a clothesline by Orton. He nearly turned Sandow inside out, upside down. Rung him out to dry like a wet t-shirt. And now Sandow, he's met with an elbow to the face from the Viper. That's Randy Orton. I gotta be honest. With Randy Orton's current state of mind, the way he's been acting lately, I don't... I don't I wouldn't want to be in the ring with that man yeah I, I don't care if there's a Dragonite in that ring I am NOT going in there to get it I because I don't want to cross paths with Randy Orton that's just that's just the way Orton has been right now he's so dangerous perhaps more dangerous than ever 
you might say, well, yeah, he, yeah, he's dangerous, but think about it. The last, the last two big, high-profile matchups he's had, he's lost. You want to take it back to Survivor Series against Samoa Joe? Take it back even further to Battleground for the World Heavyweight Championship. Regardless of the case, Randy Orton, he's on a losing streak, and he knows it. But that, like I said, desperate times call for desperate measures, and a desperate man is certainly not a man that you want to cross paths with. Damien Sandow, unfortunately for him, he's got to do it right now. But fortunately for Sandow, he's doing a pretty good job holding his own. A nice DDT driving Orton face first into the mat, but Randy kicks out before a two count. Damien Sandow now delivers a drop kick right between the shoulder blades of the Viper. As Sandow, now a drop kick to the skull. But honestly, a victory here for Damien Sandow, it would be huge. Not just because you're picking up a victory over Randy Orton, but think about it. A win here tonight, Sandow, he's looking like a really strong contender perhaps for the United States Championship going into the future. Obviously, Fastlane, we're going to have that matchup booked following our upcoming matchup. But Damien Sandow could definitely just be waiting in the wings for that next opportunity. And especially with the Royal Rumble just right around the corner. Just really anybody on the roster has to be putting up a good performance. Whether you're Randy Orton, whether you're Damien Sandow, or whether you're a champion like Ryback or Baron Corbin. Doesn't matter. You gotta be on your A game as we head on to the road of Res to the road blah, 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 the road to WrestleMania. I have to be on my A game because I'm really slipping up lately. As Randy Orton with the European uppercut into the cover. But Damien Sandow able to kick at it too. Randy Orton, DDT, as he spikes Sandow face first. Now Randy telling Sandow to get up. Randy, he really wants to humiliate Sandow tonight, just like Samoa Joe humiliated him last night at Survivor Series. Elevated neck breaker there from the Viper. And Sandow, he is not in a good way. He's in the wrong part of town because when Randy Orton just dissecting you like this, it could be the beginning of the end for Damian Sandow. And now Randy sizing Sandow up for that vindictive knee to the skull. Randy Orton hooking the leg. One, two. No, Sandow kicks out defiantly at two. And there's a bis bit of disbelief on the face of Randy Orton. He thought that might have been enough to put Sandow away. But honestly, he's not giving Sandow enough credit. Sandow, the roll up, shoulders are down for Orton. One, two, oh, so close. Sandow nearly got him, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta be, you can't give Sandow an opening like that. As now Sandow nearly took his head off of the clothesline. Damien Sandow, sizing him up. Kobe Aki yet. The elbow of disdain, and that could be lights out for Randy. Two, no. This time it's Orton with a show of defiance. Powering out of that move at two. Sandow now the one in disbelief. He spins Orton around. Looking for a scoop slam. No, Orton counter DDT. Beautiful reversal there from the Viper. Able to shift the weight, slide out of that, and turn it directly into a DDT. No wasted motion there from Randy Orton. And now Randy, a reverse Boston Crab. Sandow. He is in a tough predicament. Those ropes are right there, but the way he's positioned, I don't think he can crawl his way to crawl his way to him. Oh wait, but he didn't have to. Sandow picked the foot. It will take Randy down, and now a neck breaker. Sandow creating the opening and capitalizing on it. And now Damian Sandow sizing up Randy Orton could be going for the finishing move of his own. The arms are hooked for the year welcome. Randy. Planted into the mat. Sandow, upset of the year perhaps right here. No! Somehow, Randy Orton found a way to kick out at two. And Damian Sandow, he's thinking to himself, what the hell do I have to do to finish this man off? Sandow with that finishing maneuver. The, match that, the move that he used to defeat Curtis Axel in main events but this is where Sandow's gonna have to realize he's in a completely different world now. Going up against somebody with the skill set. And not just the skill set, but the experience of Randy Orton. Sandow, he's gonna need more than that to put him down for three seconds. 
And sand out. Oh my goodness. Almost like a slingshot there. Randy Orton, that'll take the win right out of you. And Damian Sandow, scaling to the top rope, looking to take a risk. But that's what he's got to do to defeat Randy Orton tonight. Damian Sandow, axe handle from the top. And you see this crowd is on their feet, giving Damian Sandow a standing ovation. They are fully behind him 100%. As Damian Sandow dropping Orton's knee right into his right, face, right into his knee, the hook of the leg. No! And again, Randy survives. And Damian Sandow again, you see the frustration, you see the fatigue taking its toll. But in terms of fatigue, Randy Orton's the one who's gonna be dealing, who's gonna be the worst for wear. So Damian Sandow, he can't afford to give Randy the opening, but Randy, he's gotta try to finish this thing off as quickly as possible. There's press, and Randy Orton now just hammering away on the face of Damian Sandow. The intellectual savior at the moment has just been taken, taken for a loop. And Damian Sandow, now he's caught. Randy Orton setting up the vintage Spike DDT through the middle rope. And this could be the beginning of the end, this time for real, as Orton hooks the leg. One, two, no! Sandow is still in it! No matter what Orton hits him with, it's not enough to finish off Damien Sandow. Sandow, this is too big of an opportunity for him tonight. He's not gonna let it slide. Oh, but it could be. Moments away, the RKO, but it's blocked. Sandow countered the RKO, and Sandow's got the arms hooked for the silencer. Damien Sandow, he might've pulled it out of the bag. He hooks the leg, two. Three, Damian Sandow has done it. Damian Sandow has defeated Randy Orton in what may just be the upset of the year. Sandow, what a victory. He does it. He gets the job done tonight over the Viper. What a victory. What a beginning this is for the career of Damian Sandow. He is finally resurrected. No, Randy Orton, RKO from behind. And this is what I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Randy Orton, I think he's snapped. He's done. The loss to Samoa Joe last night was bad enough, but this loss to Sandow, I think it's just pushed him over the edge. Randy Orton, backbreaker. And it looks like Damian Sandow's been busted open. Randy Orton, oh my. No, no, don't do this, Randy. To the corner, the punt kick. The punt kick from Randy Orton. He may have just ended Sandow's career. Oh my God, Damian Sandow. I don't think he. I don't think he meant to, but he may have just sealed his own fate. His career in the WWE may be done. But as for Randy Orton, it seems as though a beast has been awoken. The monster within Randy Orton is showing its true colors. Well, we're gonna have to get an update on Damian Sandow after after what just went down, but we, we've got a show to continue. The show must go on. And uh, anyways, we have a United States Championship number one contender to crown. Will it be the underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn, or will it be Mr. Monday Night, Mr. Pay-Per-View, the whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. One thing's for sure, this matchup is gonna be fast-paced. It's gonna be high-octane. It is going to be a high-risk, high-reward matchup. Because when you've got two men who have very similar styles, you look at Rob Van Dam. I mean, his offense has been innovative over the past decade, two decades, ever since he debuted with WCW. Rob Van Dam, his ECW days, his WWE days, he has pioneered an all new type of high flying offense. Whereas Sami Zayn over on the independents, he's been crafting a career of his own. But don't think that that's gonna make either of these men just one trick ponies, that that's all they're capable of. You know, while Rob Van Dam, he, 
definitely did pioneer many of I mean I lost my train of thought anyways Rob Van Dam like I said he is one of the you want to look at the WWE right now you look at some of our top high flyers but Rob Van Dam you know you could class him up there with the likes of Jeff Hardy anybody really who was involved with that the triangle ladder match you include Edge and Christian I mean really these guys pioneered a whole new type of high-risk offense Rob Van Dam, if this were a ladder match, I think no contest, he's got the job done. And you know, even if it was, if this was a matchup in 2005, no contest, I think Rob Van Dam's got this matchup in the bag. But it's not 2005. Rob Van Dam, the years have caught up with him. So while he has made himself famous for this type of fast-paced, high-flying offense, the question is, can Rob Van Dam's body keep up with someone like Sami Zayn? Because while, yes, Sami Zayn has had many years of experience, many years of wear and tear on the independents, I'd still say Sami Zayn, he's got, he's got more years left in him. Rob Van Dam, I'm not sure how much, you know, really the time, time is ticking. The clock is running out for Rob Van Dam. This could perhaps be his one last hurrah here in the WWE. So the question is, does Rob Van Dam have enough left in the tank to defeat Sami Zayn tonight? Does Sami Zayn have enough to defeat Rob Van Dam tonight? Because both of these men, they did come off of a grueling 5-on-5 five -five tag team matchup last night at Survivor Series. However, Rob Van Dam was the first man eliminated in that matchup. So he really missed out on most of the action. Look at that counter by Sami Zayn. Powerbomb could put Van Dam out for good. Two. No. Van Dam able to kick out. But as for Sami Zayn, he was in that matchup for a very long time. He entered at the beginning, and he was one of the final three men to be eliminated for Team Ambrose. He was down the final three members of Ambrose. Of course, he was eventually eliminated by Seth Rollins. But nonetheless, Sami Zayn, he played a key role in that matchup. But the problem with that is that Sami Zayn competing for that long is definitely going to take much longer of a toll on your body a much more lasting effect than as to Rob Van Dam while Van Dam yes he did get his bell rung by the big show Van Dam he still had that while Zayn was out there fighting representing Team Amber as Rob Van Dam was in the back just recovering perhaps that could make all the difference just that those 40 extra minutes of competition could be the difference that could give Van Dam the edge in this matchup tonight. But either way, neither of these men are at 100%. Just 24 hours removed from a matchup like that? I don't think so. Not a chance. But right now, Van Dam whipping Zayn off the ropes. Leapfrog over top twice in a row. And a reverse elbow right to the jaw of Sami Zayn. Van Dam caught him flush. As Van Dam picking Zayn up to his feet. Sami Zayn. Whipped off the ropes yet again. Van Dam ducks underneath. Oh, and a super kick right to the skull. He might have knocked Sami Zayn's lights out. Van Dam the cover. One, two, no, Zayn. He's not gonna go down with a measly super kick like that. But Van Dam follows it up with a drop kick to the back. And now to the second rope. Van Dam a risk, but it does not pay off. Sami Zayn dodged it. And Van Dam, well he missed with the clothesline. Sami Zayn, a beautiful suplex. And now Zayn, missile drop kick right to the side of Van Dam's head, right to the temple. And Sami Zayn, he knows he's in control right now. To the top rope he goes, but Van Dam's right there. Van Dam cuts him off. Perhaps Zayn took a little too much time getting to that top rope. And now it could cost him as Van Dam Scales to the top, and a diving body press. Hooks the leg on Zayn. One, two, no. Sami Zayn, with everything he's got left in him. Keeping himself alive in this matchup, but for how much longer can Zayn keep this up? Van Dam, he's down in his shoulders. One, two, no. Van Dam able to escape, and now turning it into a bridge. One, two, no. Sami Zayn gets the shoulder off the canvas just in the nick of time.
But now he's just a sitting duck for Rob Van Dam. He went for the kick, but Zane caught it. Oh, but Van Dam counters the counter and he connects with the boot square in the jaw of Sami Zayn. And that one will stun ya. Sami Zayn, he doesn't know where he's at. As now Van Dam with an arm bar. Sami Zayn's caught. Van Dam using a bit of technical offense here. But when you're going up against a guy like Sami Zayn, I don't know if that's necessarily the best strategy. Sami Zayn, he knows how to maneuver out of holds like that, and that's just what he did. Van Dam struggling to get to his feet. Meanwhile, Zayn had the time to capitalize and a cross face. Now it's Sami Zayn with the submission hold. And Van Dam is caught in the center of the ring. Can he maneuver his way out of this? Zayn, no, he gets rolled over. Van Dam able to escape. Buy himself a little bit of time. And look at this, a tilt-a-whirl arm bar, or arm, arm drag. And now standing shooting star press, standing moonsault. I'm calling everything wrong now. Van Dam dragging Sami Zayn to the center of the ring for a rolling thunder. I didn't butcher that one, but Van Dam might have just butchered Sami Zayn too. No, he has not. The rolling thunder is not enough. Rob Van Dam arguing with the referee, but that's not going to change the fact that Sami Zayn kicked out at two. Rob Van Dam tossing Sami Zayn into the turnbuckle. Van Dam, a knife edge chop. And you can hear that one echo throughout this arena. Van Dam picking Zayn up again. Maybe looking to four corner him. Here's the second knife edge chop. And with each chop, Sami Zayn drops to the canvas like a fly, but no. Zayn the reversal, and there's a chop, and another one. Sami Zayn, that seems to have just fired him up. As he slams Van Dam down to the canvas, looking to steal one of Van Dam's own moves. The spring, the split leg moonsault, and the hook of the leg, two, no. Van Dam getting caught with one of his own signature moves, but Sami Zayn couldn't put him away with that. Van Dam whipped back into the turnbuckle. Sami Zayn, this time with a knife edge chop of his own. Now it's Van Dam on the receiving end. And Sami Zayn whips him into yet another turnbuckle. Turnabout's fair play for Rob Van Dam, as now he gets to feel the sting of each and every one of these knife edge chops. Chops that I'm sure would make Ric Flair proud. Sami Zayn, the kick to the back. And he follows it up with a strike to the chest of Rob Van Dam. And now Sami Zayn scaling his way to the top rope. Looking to take a high risk maneuver. Swanton bomb. And he hooks the leg on Van Dam. One, two, no. Van Dam is still alive. Sami Zayn, a backbreaker. And at this point, Sami Zayn, that that self-doubt's got to be creeping into, into the back of his mind. He's hit Van Dam with just about everything but the kitchen sink. And Van Dam still keeps on fighting. Rob Van Dam, look at that! As Sami Zayn is in trouble. Van Dam has planted him right in position as he scales to the top rope. Rob Van Dam, five-star frog splash! It is over! One, two, no! No! Sami Zayn just kicked out of the frog splash. Cover again. Two. And he kicks out again. Van Dam cannot believe it. He's beside himself. Sami Zayn has just kicked out of the five star frog splash. Van Dam now the German suplex and bridging into the pin. One. Two. No, oh, again, Zayn kicks out. What the hell does Van Dam have to do to keep Sami Zayn on the mat for three seconds? Zayn blocks the drop kick. And now Rob Van Dam, he's going up and down for the blue thunder bomb. Sami Zayn choosing not to go for the pin. Instead, he takes Van Dam down. And he's got him for the Koji clutch. The Koji clutch is locked in. Rob Van Dam 
so close to those ropes, but he's just too far away. They're not within his gra within his reach. And Van Dam forced to submit. Sami Zayn has done it. He has defeated Rob Van Dam, and he is your new number one contender for Baron Corbin's United States Championship. Statement made. Message sent to the Lone Wolf. Sami Zayn, he's coming for the United States Championship. What a victory this is for Sami Zayn, getting the victory over the veteran Rob Van Dam. And while things recently have not been so good for Sami Zayn, I think things are about to turn around for this young man. And now we are moving on to our main event for this evening. Here in Boston, Massachusetts, it is the Raw return for the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. And of course, to cast your minds back to last night's 5-on-5 tag team matchup, Dolph Ziggler, along with Seth Rollins, were the two sole survivors of that tag team matchup. And the question that's been on everybody's minds is why? Why, Dolph? Why would you join Team Rollins? Well, Dolph Ziggler, he's out here tonight to answer those questions. He is going to tell us all why he did what he did and what the future holds for the former World Heavyweight Champion. But one thing's for sure, everybody's in shock after what went down last night. These fans, they're not sure whether they want to root for Dolph Ziggler or not, but I guess we're gonna find out what they should do. Why are you back? And why did you help Team Rollins? Are the two questions on everyone's minds after last night. And the answer is simple. I made a deal with the devil. For the last three months, I had to sit on the sidelines recovering from neck surgery. And for what? So I could come back and start at the bottom of the ladder? So I could travel the road of redemption back to the main event? I'm a former world heavyweight champion, damn it! I'm a top guy. I'm a big deal. Like hell, I'm going to work my way back to the top. Why should I return at the bottom when I left at the top? I already spent my entire career getting to that first title, so why should I have to do that all again? Do hard work and loyalty amount to anything in this industry? No. No, they don't. And that's why I cut a deal with a demon. Kane spoke to me a few weeks before Survivor Series, and this is what he told me. If I helped Team Rollins win at the pay-per-view, I would be guaranteed a one-on-one -on -one match for the World Heavyweight Championship whenever I wish. The only condition was that I must give the champion at least a 24-hour notice. How can I pass up an offer like that? You idiots can tell me that I sold out, but in reality, I made a smarter decision than any of you have ever made in your entire lives. You're just jealous that I have the natural talent of an A-plus player. I am one of, if not the most, gifted athlete in this whole company, and it's about damn time I get treated like it. I've dedicated my life to this business, and now I can finally reap what I've sown over the course of years. Decades. So you can take your hatred and shove it up your ass. Because I don't care about any of you anymore. And there you have it, folks. Dolph Ziggler has shown us his true colors. Dolph Ziggler, he, he cut a deal with the devil, and now, well, there's your answer for any of you who are wondering, just why? Why, Dolph? Now we, now we all know. Now we all know that Dolph Ziggler sold his soul to the devil in order to gain back his World Heavyweight Championship. Well, like it or not, that's the decision that Dolph has made, and it's the decision that we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to live with. But for right now, Ziggler, he's got a while to go until he gets back to that World Heavyweight Championship. Tonight, he can't be worried about that. He can't be thinking about Ryback. He can't be thinking about Seth Rollins. His focus has to be on the man who stands before you the super athlete, the Bulgarian brute, Rusev. Because Rusev, this is a man who Dolph Ziggler faced earlier this year. Dolph Ziggler, before he was put on the shelf, 
after SummerSlam, Dolph Ziggler had a matchup with Rusev. And it's believed that Rusev was part of the reason why Dolph Ziggler was sidelined with that injury. Of course, Money in the Bank, when he fell off the ladder, that's really what set it in motion. But some people have believed that if Dolph Ziggler hadn't continued to wrestle, if he hadn't wrestled these physical matches with guys like Connor from The Ascension, Rusev, Ryback, that the injury wouldn't be as severe as it was. Although, considering that Dolph Ziggler is back now, it doesn't seem as though the injury is quite as severe as I was expecting it to be. I didn't think we'd see Dolph Ziggler until after WrestleMania. But, Dolph Ziggler's back tonight, and it looks like he's looking for some redemption against Rusev. Because whether or not Rusev had any, had any sort of contributions to Ziggler's injury, the fact remains that Rusev did defeat Dolph Ziggler on Ziggler's way out. And Ziggler, he wants that victory back. The question is, can he get it tonight? As Rusev slams Ziggler down with a Uranagi side slam. But Ziggler counters back with a jawbreaker. Ziggler is not willing to give Rusev the upper hand early on in this matchup as he takes him down with a back suplex and a kip up. Dolph Ziggler, he doesn't seem to have lost a step since being sidelined at SummerSlam. Another kip up, but look out behind you Dolph. Rusev's back to his feet. And Rusev stomping a mud hole in Ziggler's chest. Looking to kick that sternum in as Rusev. Sizing up Ziggler for a face buster. Just look at the pure strength of Rusev. Lifting Ziggler up like he weighs nothing. And now Rusev, a suplex. Tossing Ziggler overhead nearly halfway across the ring. And now Rusev, you see, just dragging Ziggler around. Just really just driving it home that Rusev is the man in control. Just saying to Dolph, yeah, I'm the guy who beat you. I'm the guy who beat you months ago. And now Ziggler, he's going to have to try to... He's really got to work to get that victory over Rusev tonight. But Rusev, he'll be damned if he gives that win back to Dolph. Think about it. This is Rusev. This is the guy who has had opportunity after opportunity taken away from him at the World Heavyweight Championship. King of the Ring, he was screwed over by Seth Rollins. Heading into Survivor Series, he lost the number one contender's match to Christian. And then, of course, at the Survivor Series tag team matchup, Rusev, he couldn't help Team Ambrose get to a victory. He may have forced Big Show to tap out, but in the end, it was still Team Rollins who walked out the win who walked out the winners. And part of that reason is because Dolph Ziggler was on their team. And Rusev, if he can get the win over Dolph tonight, he can put that all behind him. And he can finally focus back on his main objective, and that is the World Heavyweight Championship. I think Rusev might have been looking to go for the Alabama Slam, but Ziggler able to sidestep it. Oh, and now an elbow. He stamped him right in the forehead with that one. Ziggler dragging Rusev back to his feet. And the question is, how much can Dolph Ziggler really test out that neck tonight? What really can he still do in that ring? Has his offense been limited in any sort of way? At Survivor Series, he seemed to be testing it out, taking some high risks. Tonight, it seems as though he's playing it a bit more safe. In fact, he's targeting the neck of Rusev. Which, you know, moves like that, Ziggler, the whiplash landing on the back of his head might not be the greatest thing for him, so maybe he's not quite taking it safe. Dolph Ziggler's not really a guy to do that. He won't take it safe. He'll take risks because he wants to be a success. As he goes for the cover on Rusev, but Rusev refuses to die. Dolph Ziggler with just a barrage of offense, but Rusev, the fight's still in him. Oh, what a clothesline. He just engulfed Ziggler with that one. As now the super athlete picking Dolph to his feet. And he's got him up. Alabama slam. And that's a move that'll really damage your neck. Could this be it? Two. No, Ziggler kicks out. Ziggler manages to survive the Alabama slam. And Rusev, a bit of disbelief there. As he takes him down with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Rusev, he just had that, that moment of frustration, but he, he quickly he quickly let it pass. And now he's focusing back on the attack on Ziggler. 
as he slams him down with that tilt-a-whirl slam. Taking him around the world and then back down on the canvas as Rusev, the senton from the second rope. And now he hooks the leg on Ziggler. Once more, two, no. Another kick out from Ziggler. And one, thing, one thing's for sure, time off has done well for Dolph Ziggler. This is not the same man that we saw prior to SummerSlam. This is a bit more like the Ziggler of old. But the question is, will, oh! well there's a reversal so maybe that answers my question. Ziggler still got fight in him. He's still in this matchup. He's not done by a long shot. Rusev off the ropes, a hip toss neck breaker from Ziggler. And you see Ziggler hopping up and down, really just trying to keep himself loose. Uh, now there's the arrogance. There's the show off. There's the show off of old. As Ziggler, German suplex, shoulders on the canvas, referee. One, two, no, Rusev kicks out again. But Ziggler, he's holding his own tonight. He's keeping Rusev off guard. But can he get the job done? Can he get the victory in the end? Leapfrog over top, ducks underneath. Rusev taken down with a power slam. And Ziggler wiping his hands like this is done. Two. No, but Rusev, he says no. And now perhaps Ziggler could be getting a bit frustrated. This is his first matchup back on Raw. And it's not going, it's not really smooth sailing for Dolph. He went for the super kick, but Rusev caught it. He had it well scouted. And now Rusev, placing him up on that top rope and just driving these knees right into the ribs. The side of Dolph Ziggler in agony as Rusev fall away slam. Rusev, now he's headed to the corner and we know what's coming next. He's measuring Dolph, looking to set him up to kick his head off. Ziggler struggling to get back to his feet. And here comes Rusev like a freight train. Super kick. No, Ziggler dodged it. And now super kick from Ziggler. Rusev goes down. Ziggler could have the victory at hand. One, two. No, not so fast. The super kick. It's not enough. As Rusev back to his feet yet again. Ziggler. He's really got to dig down deep now. That super kick, just it, it. I mean, just look at Ziggler right now. He's giving everything he's got at Rusev. To the top rope. This is a high risk move for Dolph. Will it pay off in the end? A sit out face buster from the top rope. And now the cover. One, two, no, Rusev kicked out. And just look at that face. Look at the disgust on the face of Ziggler. But I think that one could be his own fault. He didn't even hook the leg on Rusev, which showing a bit of desperation on the part of Ziggler, the fatigue taking its toll. However, had he hooked the leg, I really think he would have had the three count right there. Because then at that point, all Rusev had to do was get the shoulder up. It didn't require much force. As Ziggler whipped off the ropes, now Rusev coming back. Ducks underneath, German suplex. And just like that, Ziggler, he's gonna pay for his mistake. Rusev off the ropes. Oh, the super kick. This time his connects. And Rusev, there's the battle cry. He's calling for the end. And he's gonna crush Dolph Ziggler with an accolade. Ziggler trying to get to his feet, trying to avoid the accolade at all costs. The same move that he tapped out to several months ago, but Rusev now a chop to the back of the skull, looking to quell the rally. And there's the kick to the back. The kick that sets up the accolade. Ziggler is caught in the center of the ring. He's not going anywhere. And once again, Rusev is about to force Ziggler to tap out. A valiant effort from Ziggler here, but I don't think he's gonna be able to break out of this. As Rusev really cinching it back. Ziggler, I mean, you see the referee asking him, does he want to tap out? Does he want to quit? But give credit to Ziggler, he's not tapping out. Ziggler, he can't get to those ropes. He's got nowhere to go, but he refuses to quit. And Rusev breaks the hold. 
Dolph Ziggler just will not submit. And just pure willpower alone keeping Ziggler alive. But this is it. Rusev the cover. He's exhausted, Ziggler. No, he hasn't! Ziggler has enough left in him to kick out. I mean, just the willpower that Dolph Ziggler possesses is strong enough to keep him going in this matchup. He did not tap out to the accolade. And he, he still had enough left energy in him to kick out. Enough energy left in him, if I can speak proper grammar. But Rusev, placing him up on the top rope. Ziggler, to, oh, no! And he has enough left to inflict some offense. Look at this! A Famouser from the top rope. I don't know how Ziggler's doing it, but he's still in this matchup. And it could be the beginning of the end for Rusev. As Ziggler, zigzag! Rusev is down, and he is out. Ziggler hooks the leg. One, two, the no! No! Rusev's still in it. I was surprised that Ziggler kicked out. But I'm even more surprised that Rusev kicked out. Another zigzag from Ziggler. And Ziggler, it seems as that has just pissed him off. It's pushed him over the edge. Again, picking Rusev up to his feet. And another super kick. Right on the button. But Ziggler's still not done. He is going to make sure he, that Rusev stays down for three seconds, but you see Ziggler, the exhaustion, as he hits another zigzag. And Ziggler, now he goes for the cover. And this is it. One, two, three. Well, there you have it, folks. Dolph Ziggler has done it. He's back. And he is perhaps, perhaps better than ever. As he manages to get the win of Rusev tonight, you really had to scrap and claw for that one. But that's going to be it for this episode of Universe Mode. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for the next one. And until the next episode, as I always say, keep on YouTubing.